Hey, what's going on everybody? Happy Thanksgiving. I'm hanging out here by the pond. I just wanted to do a special little Thanksgiving video because, you know, everyone's going to be doing their thing later on with their family here in the United States. But I know there's a lot of folks that are out there uh, all across the planet watching. We got friends all over the place and I'm pretty psyched uh, that you guys are joining here. So right now I thought, let's do a little video. We'll hang out and I'll get some of these pond turtles over here and we'll learn about some of the turtles I have in the pond. We'll hang out, maybe I'll grab one, I'll head on up over to the camera and we'll learn a little bit. Plus I got uh, a special uh, thing happening just out of view of the camera that I'll flip the camera a little bit later on and we'll be able to um, you know, talk about that. Now guys, I'm gonna be holding my phone because I'm actually gonna be answering questions right from my phone. Um, that's the easiest way. We got friends from Singapore, my gosh, Habib Basha, thanks for joining us, man. Uh, Merry Thanksgiving. Merry Thanksgiving to you, Jeremiah. Pretty, pretty stoked. Um, so right now, you can see some of the larger turtles. And guys, you're going to have to, uh, you know, forgive me here. I got to keep this camera stationary because when I move the camera, what happens is that's when we get the lag that so many of you don't like. Um, so when I do this halfway through the show and I move the camera to what's going on behind us, uh, don't get so frustrated. It'll fix itself. Remember guys, this is free. We're in my backyard, not in a television studio. So I hope you guys will bear with me, man. What's going on, AB Exotics, all the way from Australia. Uh, let's see if we can get a lot of these guys over here right now. So basically the deal with my pond is it's about a quarter of an acre. And here in South Florida, all the land is basically swamp land. So what they've done in this area that I live is they've dug ponds and they use the dirt to bring the house up onto a pad so it's out of a flood zone but it leaves this nice pond and as you can imagine being a reptile and you know turtle lover in particular having a big pond was going to be a big deal for me as i moved here so um basically the pond is fed from the groundwater it will fluctuate it raises it lowers throughout the seasons we have a wet and dry season here in florida and so what happens man is you know we'll get some fluctuations uh, in the in the water level. Here's a large Heosemis grandis. These are the uh, giant Asian pond or giant Asian wood turtle. Um, very, very cool. I've got about 50, 60 of them here and they're TSA animals, Turtle Survival Alliance animals. And basically they um, needed a home. A lot of them would have wound up in the food market. So uh, the TSA saved them and they're, they're the friendliest. They're the ones that, that come up the most. So I start to feed them and, and they're all over the place. So let's say I want to get some of the some of the native and and different turtles out here as well. Uh, let's see, man, what species of turtle uh, you know we'll get soon? Oh well, shucks, I never really know. I'm not in the market for getting any more turtles, to be honest. It's usually when uh, the Turtle Survival Alliance has a confiscation. If they need some places to put animals for a little while, then I'll I'll make arrangements with them, get some of those animals, or sometimes some of the zoos I work with will need to put some surplus animals somewhere for a little while. Uh, so I never really know what I'm gonna get, but usually I take animals that I know will do well outdoors in South Florida and that I know I can easily care for. Um, I don't like to take animals that are really, really um, uh, not hardy in our climate because that's, you know, it makes work uh, very difficult. So uh, let's see. I wanted to just kind of show you guys what's going on here. I'm reading all your comments. Uh, I'm going to pick out some good comments. Uh, are there little turtles in here? Uh, Wallace Gonzalez asks. Yeah, from time to time, I will find uh, baby turtles. And, uh, you know, usually they, if they're not natives, I keep them. Um, I do sell some of the babies. Um, but if they are native turtles, um, I allow them to kind of disperse. And it's kind of neat because it becomes a really cool place for baby turtles to grow up and do well. And I like that, you know, I like to help out our animals. Uh, did my turtles behave different when the hurricane came? Uh, from Ithilween Ith Shadow Song. Wow, Ithilween. That's almost like a Lord of the Rings, Ithil. That's like an elvish word. I'm a nerd, man. I like Lord of the Rings. So did they behave differently? No, they didn't. Uh, the water turtles went about business as usual. They're fine in the water. The hurricane was not even that bad here. Um, I did take the sulcatas and all my land tortoises and I put them away. Um, 
yeah, uh, the flying idiot, YT. I do sell baby tortoises. If you guys want uh, some baby tortoises, right now I only have a few Greek tortoises and a few redfoots left. Uh, I have a lot of eggs incubating, and they are going to be hatching out in January. And, and actually, if you guys stick around a little bit later on in this broadcast, I'm going to move the camera, and I'm going to show you something really cool and special that I think you'll be excited to see. So um, as far as you buying a turtle or tortoise for me, very simple. Send me your address so I can get you a shipping quote to Camp Kennan. That's K-A-M-P, K-E-N-A-N, uh, at gmail.com. And that's how you order turtles from me. Um, we also have t-shirts available on the store. If you're looking for a Christmas gift, you can go to the Camp Kennan store at campkennan.com. Click on that link. Uh, let's see. I do not own any spider tortoises, AB Exotics. I don't plan on getting them. Um, they're great. Um, I don't plan on it, but you never know what will happen. Spider tortoises are, a, you know, I don't have a lot of hands-on work with them. They're an animal that requires a little bit more care here in South Florida. Um, you know, you can't just leave them outdoors. Uh, what I'm going to do now is going to put the phone down, and I want to grab something for us. I'm going to grab this snapping turtle here. This is a Florida snapper. And this turtle's really, really cool. I'm going to walk on up here so you can see it. This turtle's been really neat, taming down. I love snapping turtles. They are some of my favorite turtles. Uh, one of the first turtles I've ever got. Now, there's that snapper face. Now she's, now she's being a snapper. See that? It is, it, let me see. Yes, it is a female. Her cloaca is close to the base of her plastron. There she is, everybody. Really cool female snapper. And I've been noticing she's been getting more tame, eating the food, coming on out here. I don't want to get bit. No, I don't. But they're really great. Now, you can see, for those of you who don't have snapping turtles in your country, you see how they have that reduced plastron? That basically is, you know, uh, they got this plastron, right, the bottom of the shell, but it's very reduced, and their, their soft parts are exposed. So they have a really nice carapace. They burrow into the mud, and they got those jaws that will protect them. So when you pull a snapping turtle out of the water, they're really aggressive. But when you leave them alone in the water, I've stepped on them. And if you guys go back and watch the Jersey Mud episode of Camp Kennan, you'll actually see I put my hand right on one as we were looking for spotted turtles uh, while it was in the water and I didn't even get bit. Uh, so that's really cool. I'm going to put this gal back so she can keep eating. Let's grab another species and uh, we'll see. I have to let them kind of get a little bit uh, used to me again. It's so funny. The turtles are smart. Because when they see just me, they all come over. But now that I have, I have a chair with my laptop on it, and I also have this tripod with the camera, and a lot of the turtles are staying away, which I, I think is interesting. So let's throw some more food out. Let's try and get these guys going. And the food I'm throwing out, this is actually um, called a crocodilian diet. It's from Missouri, and it's, it's a pellet. Um, it's for crocodiles, but the water turtles love it as well. And it's more cost effective to buy this than the freshwater turtle diet because it comes in a bigger bag. And when you have this many animals, you want to try and, you know, minimize your costs of keeping everybody. So we're going to pull these guys in and I'll see if I can get another interesting species out as I talk. But in the meantime, while we're waiting, let me go ahead and answer some more questions here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Kenan, what is the future of Camp Kenan? I don't know. I can't see the future. I haven't uh, consulted my swami. Um, I think I see more turtles, more fun episodes, more traveling. We're going to be traveling a lot next year in 2017. We're going to India. Uh, very excited about that. So you guys are going to probably get a live show from India, which is going to be really amazing. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about that because I'm going to be spending time with a uh, gentleman by the name of Rom Whittaker. And Rom Whittaker is a legendary herpetologist uh, who does a lot of great work with crocodilians and the king cobra. So that's what I'm going to be doing over there in India. So look forward to that. Uh, let's see what's my favorite kind of turtle. Any turtle that has a shell. I love them all. Can we see some more videos of Slinky? Yeah, man. Slinky's going to be around, but that's that's not going to be happening soon. Here's, here's these giant Asian pond turtles. Let's grab one of these. Let's go ahead and pick this guy up and bring it on up. And oh, this is a really interesting species to me because they're very gregarious, they're very friendly, um, they're very hardy. And you can see, they look at how concaved their plastron is. Now this is a male. You see the bend in there? You see how concaved he is? This guy is all boy, uh, very heavy. This is probably about a 20 pound turtle. And what's neat about them is they're aquatic, 
but they'll also come out on land and they'll walk around and they'll graze. They're almost like a tortoise in that regard. Uh, very, very cool animal. They can climb uh, and they're very uh, aggressive when they breed. The males will bang the shells of the females and it, it's loud. You can hear it. It's something else. I got to be honest with you. But not, not necessarily, most people don't think they're the prettiest turtle because uh, of the coloration, but I love them because I love their, their personalities. They're just really, really fun. So that's the uh, giant Asian pond turtle. So let's put him back down. He's going to run right in, no problem. All right, man. Yeah, we're having a good day today. I hope those of you out there are going to have fun doing your Thanksgiving thing. Uh, thank you. Happy Thanksgiving from, to Ken and Tom and everyone, Dragon Tamer Reptiles. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Um, how do you breed Mississippi map turtles? How big do Mississippi map turtles have to be to breed? And that is from Young, Young Ill. Um, they... I, I, you know, I'd say the females have to be about seven inches. The males are going to be about five inches. Males are much smaller than them. Uh, let me wipe this off, guys. This is, this got a little bit wet. I'm sorry. Uh, let's cancel that. Oh boy. What did I do? Uh, I hope I don't screw this up. Anyway, uh, let's see. Just sending nothing. Uh, you're going to see me send a, a message that makes no sense. Uh, let's see. Um, other questions, other questions. What's my favorite turtle? Uh, do I ever hatch any yellowfoot tortoises? Interesting. Um, you mentioned that I have a colony, a little group of, um, of yellowfoots. I get eggs. I even have, I hatched two, but a lot of the times the eggs aren't going full term. I'm doing something wrong with my incubation. I don't know exactly what it is. Uh, will I ever get a crocodile or alligator? No, I don't need to because just a few miles away, Kyle's got all the uh, crocodiles and alligators. I had two. A lot of people ask about what happened to them. They're right back at the sanctuary. In fact, the sanctuary, Bush Wildlife, gave them to Kyle. So they're at Kyle's house now. Kyle's just got a great facility for crocodiles and alligators, and I just prefer to see them with Kyle uh, than have them myself. Uh, am I going to get any more snakes, CJ's reptiles? Well, yeah, there's a couple species I want to get. Um, I'd love to get diamond pythons because they do so well outside here in South Florida. Uh, I also would like to get blackhead python. I think they're just a beautiful, interesting uh, snake. Um, and, and that would be about it, to be perfectly honest. Those are the snakes that I want to work with, you know. Uh, let's see. Do I have any redfoot tortoises for sale? Yes, email me at campkennon uh, at gmail.com. Uh, are there any more videos with the fly river turtle planned? Who knows? Uh, who knows? Who knows? Um, let's see. What else do we got here? Do I ever think about getting a sailfin dragon? I actually had sailfin dragons. Uh, I had a nice one, uh, but I, I wound up uh, selling it because I had to make space for some other animals. So sailfins are cool. thing with sailfins, in my experience, is they love a vertical enclosure. They want to feel secure. They like to be high. Uh, for me, when you give them a horizontal area, they, they're skittish. They'll run really fast and bash their faces, which isn't any good. So we're going to just keep doing this here, throw out some more food. Very nice day here today. Let's see who else is out there in the world. How do you convince your parents to get you a tortoise? Because my mom is not sure she wants me to get one. All right, well, here's what I'd say to you. What's your name? The, fl the flying idiot. Well, listen, listen, flying idiot. You may want to first start. I'm just teasing now. You may not want to call yourself an idiot. You may want to start acting a little bit mature for mom. I don't know how you act. I'm only kidding. So don't get upset. But I think if you say to mom, uh, you sound like you got to ask permission. So you're probably a young uh guy or gal. And, you know, I would help your parents out around the house. I would show an initiative. I'd try and be, you know, uh, more responsible so you can show them that you're able to take care of an animal on your own because most parents get scared that the care is going to fall to them if you guys start slacking. So I would first do that, explain to your parents that you really want to do uh, work with these animals, that you love them, and then prove it. And, th and then any parent that sees their child uh, go above and beyond is going to reward uh, reward you for being a uh, good kid and taking care of things. So that's what I'd say. Uh, do you have a different way of going about finding eggs for different tortoise species? It's funny you should say that. Let's. Uh, what time is it right here? Well, yeah, we're about halfway through the broadcast. So let's. We're going to switch gears here a little bit. Okay. So I'm pre warning you now. Don't freak out if the video lags. Give me a second because we're going to move. We're going to move this. Oh no. Oh wait a minute. We're my whole thing's been blown, guys. She got up off the nest. Oh, man. Well, that's why live broadcasts are a pain in the neck. What happened here is I had a sulcata tortoise, and she was laying eggs. 
uh, or she was digging a nest, but for whatever reason, I think it was because the male kind of freaked her out. Let's go, I'll show you what she was doing. This is her nest or what was going to be her nest. And she started to dig and sometimes they'll dig a nest like this and they are called test nests. For whatever reason, she didn't like it. Maybe she didn't like the, oh boy, we got a, we got a tortoise eating the uh, ethernet cable. I don't want that to happen. That's, that's big old Brutus. He's eating my ethernet cable. That would be the end of this broadcast. Good grief. They're like children, everybody. So if you guys get a lag right now, I apologize. But, um, you know, that's what's going on. We got this thing moving around. There he is, Brutus, the big sulcata tortoise. Here are my sulcatas way out here. There's the Fly River Turtle Pond, Battager Pond. But, yep, that's what was going on. That's what I was hoping to show you guys. Well, but I apologize. Now, we got things falling down here. Hold on. This, this video is getting a little crazy real quick. Oh, all right. Can everyone still see me? Let's go back to the pond turtles and ask a few more questions. Uh, yes, let's see. We got AB Exotics. Uh, well, do I keep uh, Prad Dian? Do I have Cora Ambienensis? Yes, I have a lot of Cora Ambienensis uh, across, the, across the way here. Um, very, very cool species of Asian box turtle. Very, very cool animal. Uh, let's see, would you rather work with uh, Holmes Hingeback tortoise or Western Herman's tortoise? Uh, hingebacks are a little bit more tough to work with down here. Um, they, you know, you got to just get a good group of them. It's always best to find some that have actually been uh, bred in captivity because most of the time uh, those animals are imported and they're loaded with parasites and they never acclimate well. So that's kind of a bummer. So the, to answer your question, Herman's tortoise would be what I'd want to work with. Um, Gosh, man, I'm really, I'm really so uh, sad that that tortoise got up off her nest. Um, what made me want to stop BMX and how many bones have I broken by bee jubies? Um, I just kind of grew out of BMX. It stopped being fun. I didn't want to compete anymore. I was doing a lot of TV. Um, and it just was time to go, man. Let the young guys take over and push the sport further. Uh, don't miss it one bit. Like, I'm good. I love doing this. I mean, I love... I love my animals. I like being in my backyard and I like doing these videos. So that's, that's what I'm doing. Uh, let's see. Um, do I have any leopard geckos? No leopard geckos there. Luke Co Cohello, Co Cole, Cola. I'm sorry. Terrible with names. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm from Switzerland. I cannot keep many reptiles outdoors. Nature TV, Julian. Well, Julian, you just work with species that, that don't require a lot of space. Uh, make sure you provide UVB bulbs. Um, and I'm sure at some point in the summertime in Switzerland, there's probably, you can get them outdoors for a little natural stuff. Uh, let's see, what is a, a reptile I want or will I ever get a tegu? I've had tegus, a reptile that I want. Well, I mentioned those snake species earlier. You know, I like the diamond pythons and the other ones. Uh, let's see, yeah. Uh, how do you, how can a, you maintain a natural pond full like yours and in Arizona, they drive fast. Well, number one, I'm not, I don't live in the desert. That's, that's important. Uh, we get enough rain. We have a lot of groundwater here. Florida essentially was under the ocean, uh, you know, only a few hundred thousand years ago. So, um, you know, there's a natural water table here. So that's really good. Uh, it helps. Uh, what do you want people? Uh, let's see. I'm looking for another good question, man. Uh, do you have... Does your pond have toads or anything else different from a turtle? And what turtles, what do turtles do to them? There are uh, leopard frogs in this pond. I would imagine that the, some of the turtles, like snapping turtles, if they get lucky enough, they'll catch one. Uh, but most of the time, the frogs just hang out in the grasses out here. Um, they come out at night. Uh, we get the uh, bufo toad, the cane toad, which is a non-native species, and uh, that can be a problem. But uh, there you go, man. Uh, Kenan, when will you come to India? I live in India. I'm Amaga M. Amaga M. I will be there in March, and we're going to be in southern India. Uh, let's see. Uh, man, most personal turtle species. I would say the grandest, the giant Asian pond turtles, or the Reeves turtles are definitely one of those. All right. Well, let's see, folks. Uh, we got a lot of questions, and we're going to be toning this video down. I apologize for that turtle getting up and leaving, but you got a little action shot of my sulcata tortoise nibbling on some cable. Uh, I am gonna get ready for my Thanksgiving here in a little bit. 
And I just wanted to do a video today and not miss out on a Thursday video so that you guys had a little something to do while you wait for that great cooking. And uh, thanks again. Well, thanks again, everybody. I'm really excited that you guys are joining me on these videos. Remember, if the video lags, it usually clears up in a little bit. We are, um, you know, I live kind of out in the woods and kind of have to make things work. Uh, so I do appreciate you all sticking around for these videos. And uh, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Lots of questions today. Um, well, that's going to be it. Oh, am I coming to Africa? Trinity Espinosa. No, but if someone wants to bring me to Africa, uh, bring Tom and I to Africa to film, we'd be more than happy to accept any plane tickets and huts that you may have available uh, out in the bush in Africa because we are, it is definitely on our list of things to do. And that's the goal with Camp Cannon. We're going to keep on doing our thing, selling shirts, raising money so that we can get this show out in the field because that's going to be fun too. It's fun to see how to take care of animals in captivity, but to learn how to do that properly, you really need to get out there and see the animals behave in nature. So that's it. I'm signing off. Thanks so much for joining me this morning on Thanksgiving here in the United States. I will see you guys real soon. I have to kind of hunch over and do, you know, kind of a, an orangutan thing here today. All right. I'll see you guys later, man. Don't forget Sunday. We'll have a bonus video. Have no idea what it's going to be, but uh, I'll, I'm sure something interesting will transpire between now and Sunday. Later.